Auto cleaners. I always thought of them as useless equipment, but seeing the size of this ball of debris they managed to roll, it makes me start to respect them. The trash ball mostly consists of electrical tape. Come on, just a little more. Do it before you realize that these mechanics just artificially prolong the gameplay. Such supplies of electrical tape suggest that engineers doubted the durability of the liner. Judging by the steady melting of the rolls, there was a fire in the engineering modules, but it definitely was not the cause of the disaster. Data acquired, but its analysis will take about three days. Ah, nope, three seconds are enough. Apparently, the captain's bridge damaged the tank with mayonnaise on the port side of the liner. The mayo got pulled into the core's gravitational field, which increased its mass and decreased its activity. Bombarding the core with other similar debris may lead to a further decrease in its activity, probably. What's left to do is to find something with similar properties to mayo and not kill yourself with such experiments. I will calibrate the radiation sensors a bit. You'll be able to get much closer to the liner, and we'll assume that you are not exposed to radiation at all. This is working autonomous oxygen station. Speaking of Normandy, your interlocutor has already mentioned this shuttle with survivors. It would be nice to find it before you actually destroy everyone. I will mark several interesting places that I found through the COPPA notification system. Apparently, there was a survivor here, temporarily. Want to open more coffins, there's a chance that I'll be able to detect new, potentially useful debris, while my anti-vandal program scares you with criminal liability. During the explosion of the bridge, I managed to take measurements of your body to order a coffin, but it didn't come in handy after all. I'd like to note, you're in great shape, keep it up, you're almost not so fat. Judging by the number of antennas, this is either a communication point or a communication point. Thanks to your torture, I violated not only the Breath Edge Data Protection Protocol, but also entirely by accident. I repeat, entirely by accident. Crack the data block, which I had insufficient privileges to access. From the information gathered, I can conclude that the agents and coffins not only transmit information about 